The Xamarin Forms Activity Indicator Control displays an animation to show that the application is engaged in a lengthy activity and signal the users that something is happening that will take a moment. Progress bars are for situations where the percentage completed can be determined. They give users a quick sense of how much longer an operation will take. Unlike the progress bar, the activity indicator gives no indication of progress. In this video, we are going to create a simple Xamarin application that will have the activity indicating some background task is going on. We will add an activity indicator to prompt the user that the image is currently loading. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms Activity Indicator. 2. Display Activity Indicator while loading image. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. I already created a project and name it demo.activity underscore indicator. Now, because we gonna input multiple elements, we need to use one of the layouts. And for this video, I gonna use the absolute layout. And insert activity indicator and image. The activity indicator control defines the following properties. These are is running in color. Is running is a bool value that indicates whether the activity indicator should be visible and animating or hidden. When the value is false the activity indicator isn't visible. And color is a color value that defines the display color of the activity indicator. Then for our image source, we use a URI value. Now if we run this, We were not gonna see the activity indicator here. Because the image will be rendered on top of the activity indicator. So temporarily, we're gonna set this image element visibility to false. Here is our activity indicator. By default, the position of the element is always at the upper left corner of the screen. Let's set this indicator to the center. For the position of the activity indicator, I used proportional value for its top left position. Then the absolute value for the size it. The final step is we want this activity indicator visible only while the image is loading. To do that, we need to bind the image status to our activity indicator. In this code, I give our image the name myImage for us to bind to the activity indicator element. Here we bind the image to the activity indicator. Then we change the isRunning property to the isLoading which is the property of the element we bind, which is the image. The isLoading property will return a value false if the image is fully loaded. Let's change the image to reload another image. As you can see, right after the image is loaded to the device, the activity indicator hides. The time spent loading a device depends on the speed of the device, the speed of your internet, and how big is the image is. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.